everybody. It is 11.52 a.m. just before lunch, Sunday, October 1st. And I'm headed to another local yarn shop. I bought one brand and color of yarn yesterday that I intended I was gonna make socks out of and the more I looked at it when I brought it home, I'm like, nope, I need at least two more hanks of that because I think I wanna make a sweater. So there is a shop by me I've been meaning to check out anyway. So we're gonna go see if they have that particular color. They're supposed to have it in stock, but they don't have a lot of it. So let's go check it out. I'll be back. This is the shop here in Beaverton, Oregon. It's called For Yarn's Sake. They have everything you would want, knitting or crocheting. Um, some of these shops do only knitting and they have like no crochet needles or anything. They have all everything here. And the ladies are so sweet and so nice and they had the yarn I needed to work on some upcoming projects, so we're all good. I'm gonna head home now before I spend any more money because yeah, I have a lot of needle work to do and yeah, it's not gonna get itself done. I'll be back. Happy Monday morning, everybody. It's 7.44 a.m. Monday, October 2nd. I, yes, I'm in the car. I just took my dad to the airport. He is on, headed out for a trip for one month with my sister Elizabeth, her husband, his, one of his sisters, his brother, and a few other random family members to Italy. So I am Italian. I am second generation. We still own a house over in Italy and I have a lot of family over there. My dad has never been, um, although he grew up only speaking Italian and he didn't speak any English until school and he had to learn English. Um, his parents went to Italy a few, quite a few times. Dad never did, but he's going now. He's going to spend a month there. I can't wait to see how you know what he thought when he comes back he's gonna have a blast so anyway yeah I took him to the airport I just dropped him off so we're gonna head back home I need more coffee you guys and some breakfast so yeah Okay, it's nearly six o'clock in the evening and it's time to go downstairs. I have spent the day crocheting and as you saw in a little clip, um, getting back to a little bit of painting and I've got something drying over here. It's not anywhere near done, but I, I like where it's going. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a hint. I found a roll of gold leaf. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> um, finished a pair of socks for Bob and I'm working on some laundry. I'm going to go take all my stuff, uh, shut up, up uh, everything up, up, here, up here and head downstairs because it's time. We might go for a walk, but that kind of depends on what the weather is like outside because it's a little bit miserable. So we'll see. It I'll be back. Wednesday <laughs> afternoon, October... Fourth, I don't think I vlogged yesterday. I haven't checked the film footage, but I don't think so. I had Thomas all day yesterday, and in the morning before he got here, I was doing some chores and trying to get the video editing done and all that stuff. Anyway, today I had counseling, and I deal with my anxiety and depression two ways. Well, three ways. Counseling and medication, uh, eating, shopping. So I avoided those last two because they're not good for me. <laughs> I had counseling this morning. I decided to stay home and finish projects I already have in process. So guess what I got finished? And she's cute. I even hemmed her decently well. There's one little mistake on the back. I don't ever have to see it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, yeah, hang on. So she is pretty cute. I really like it. Fits really well. Nice and bright and cheery. Shows a little bit of cleavage, but that's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a cute date night dress. <laughs> All right. 
I will link the pattern down below. Uh, I think it's from the Mood Fabrics website, if I'm not mistaken. It is the, I literally just put it away. Yeah, it's from the Mood Fabrics website and it is the, I can't read it. Hold on. It's the Anthea dress pattern. I'll link it down below. It's pretty cute. Um, it's pretty easy to put together. Um, I don't think it's a super beginner pattern, uh, but it is pretty easy to put together. Their pattern pieces are uh, very well done. Their instructions are pretty good. So yeah, anyway. All right, I am going to clean up my mess. I've already got some other projects lined up because of course I do. I have a bag project I've been wanting to do for a while inspired by another T. Myers video. Um, I have these overalls that I was inspired to do by a couple different videos and gigantic linen pants I thrifted for I think eight bucks in California that were never worn. So that I'm gonna use for the fabric for those. Anyway, always projects. <laughs> All right, I'm going to change back into what I had on. I'm gonna sit down and work on my socks because I'm crocheting a pair of socks. And um, yeah, just chill for the rest of the afternoon, I think. I'll be back. I did one more sewing project before we called it a day. Um, I finished my sock. I have to do a pair the other, the other side, but here we go. Now this is Patton's Croy Sock Yarn and I found it at a local resale shop so I didn't pay a whole lot for it. It is a yarn that is still in production today. Um, this is a uh, Mexicali, the color, I don't remember. Mexicali something, Mexicali stripes. Um, yeah, what a fun colorway. Anyway, and the sock fits really well, so yay, okay. Um, I did one more sewing project though after I finished the sock and I bought a Sonoma, black knit dress. I thrifted it. I think I paid like four bucks for it quite a while ago on one of our trips. I don't think I got this in Virginia. I think I got this when we were in California. Anyway, this is a really easy fix. Hold on. So I don't think you have to know too much about sewing to do this. So it was a simple knit dress that I liked the skirt of. And so I just cut the top off and I took the skirt and I rolled it under just a little bit and I put some elastic. Now I do have a serger and a stretch stitch on my machine, but if you don't have one, you can just zigzag, just zigzag. Um, and you don't have to do the serge on the edge. I mean, if you don't want to, but you could just zigzag that too, but um, really quick, really easy. Just make sure that the resulting skirt, once you do that, is gonna be long enough. Um, this is plus, it has pockets. You gotta love a good pocket. All right, now really that's it for the sewing. I'm gonna sit and start my second sock. I'll be back. Okay, it's about 5.15 p.m. on Thursday, October 5th. Laundry is working, that's what that groan just was. <laughs> um, I was babysitting all day today and he is just going home now. He just went home now. Um, so it's time for Oma to catch up on chores. Oh, that's loud. Um, neighbor behind me is playing music really loudly. So yeah, anyway, uh, this morning I didn't get much done before Junior got here. Um, I just, you know, I took some time to myself, made sure I had enough coffee in me and you know the important stuff <laughs> um so i did get a load of laundry started earlier now i'm doing another one i'm gonna do a few chores and then i'm gonna sit and try to finish my socks i'm hooked on making socks right now and i have plans for at least three more pairs so they're not hard to make and they're a fun quick keep me busy project and yeah, I'm all, I'm all about that. Uh, plus, you know, being creative. I like being creative. It helps me process things up here. Um, and let go of 
what I don't need to hang on to. There's just tons of garbage mail, I swear to God. I don't think there was anything important in the mail. It's all trash. Waste of a tree. Anyway, all right, dishes, a snack, it's all good. Good I'll morning, be back. everybody. It is Friday, October 6th, I think, and it is 9.29 a.m. I am obviously in the car, and yes, sleeveless, because it's gonna be 84 degrees today, um, even though it's fall, yeah. Anyway, I'm out running a few errands that I need to get done. We are spending tomorrow at the kids' house working on the addition. Well, Bob is helping with the addition. I am spending the day with the girls and the baby, and by girls, I mean Rebecca and adopted daughter Jenny, and of course, baby Junior. So um, basically staying out of everybody else's way, because you know, anyway. Uh, I don't know what we'll get up to. I, I have a little bit of an idea, but I will film what I can. I think we might be doing some vintage shopping. My daughter is starting a new online store, and I will link it down below. Um, go follow her and she's gonna be having some really cool vintage um, items and home decor and what who knows whatever else she finds and uh, yeah it ought to be really cool all right but let's go get the errands done I'll be back We're in the truck again it's 8 22 a.m. Saturday October something. 7th something oh it's Junior's six-month birthday. Yes, he's six months today. He's six months today. Anyway, uh, we are headed to the kids' house because Mr. is going to help with the construction, as he's been. Uh, and I am going to help with the baby and entertain the ladies that aren't helping with construction. Wow, bright. Um, I think we're going to go out. My daughter started a new vintage store. Again, I'll link it down below. And I think we're going to go out looking for things for her to sell. So I think that's going to be a thing. So anyway, I've got my bag of crochet stuff with me. Um, I have a friend who saw my socks, an art friend. She's like, please, can you make me some socks? Um, I have... I think enough for one sock in the colorway for the socks of mine that I already made. I'll put a picture here. I'm not sure I have enough for two socks, but I guess we'll see. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's all that's going on this morning. I've had my coffee. I don't feel like I've had my coffee, but I've had my coffee. I might need one more cup. All right, hey I'll guys. be back. All right, it is, I don't know, three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. Bob just dropped me off at home. He is headed back to the kids' house to continue with work on their addition. I don't am not needed to babysit, and I have chores to do at home. So, I had somebody, one of the one of them, Bob actually, dropped me off at home, and uh, he's headed back over there. So I'm gonna get laundry done, do dishes, work on socks, you know, all the things, rather than I think it was kind of daughter was uncomfortable because I was just kind of sitting there with nothing to do <laughs> and she doesn't need me to babysit because she's home today so anyway it was a little funny all right I'm gonna go inside I'll share with you my haul from thrifting at state sailing with my daughter this morning and I wasn't intending on buying anything but I found some cute fabrics so let's go take a look you are so janky and pop propped up on just Anyway, um, so we went out to an estate sale shop and a, and a thrift store. And um, if you're in the Portland area, these are two that I am, the, well, especially the thrift store. It's one I've been to before. I really like it. Um, it's called the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. I'll link it down below. The other one, I'll have to get the name for my daughter. Um, PDX Estate Sale or, I don't know. It's a place where if you have estate sale things that need to be sold off, Instead of doing it at your house, they, I think, basically bring them all there and they sell them at the shop. Um, I don't think they're open every day, but anyway, when we were there, they had some linens I found. I'll separate out everything. So first I found these cute little cocktail napkins. These are printed. They were $2 for the set. Again, um, I'd never been here before. I'm pretty sure some of these are little overpriced for what I would normally 
pay, but these were really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them exactly, but there's a set of three with different fruits on them. We've got uh, grapes, apples maybe, and cherries. They're very cute. Um, I found, the, the, these were $2 for five. Oh, I'm gonna take the stickers off while I'm sitting here because I gotta wash everything. Maybe. Uh, come off, come off, come off. There we go. Um, this was $5, which isn't too bad a price for this, especially since it's, yeah, hand embroidered. How pretty is that? And how pretty would that be on the front of a bag or the back of a jacket? So that was pretty. And they had these two pieces. The smaller one was $6. These are also hand, pretty sure this is handmade, not factory done. Taking off the, taking off the sticker. Okay. So they had two of these. I don't remember seeing two of these together before, but it's this really pretty crochet doily with this um, sort of pansy on the edging. Not sure what I'll do with that, but really pretty. And then they had this table runner and the table runner was $8. And again, I'm pretty sure these are hand done, so I don't mind paying a little more than I normally would for them. But how pretty is that? And I might actually not cut these up and actually use them as table runners because they're really pretty. Um, and then for $5, I got this small <coughs> table topper. It's not really a tablecloth, but how cool is that? It's got all kinds of embroidery all over it. And that is so pretty, nice big piece of fabric. So I was pretty happy with that. And then we went to the red, white, and blue thrift store. Now they had a few of these um, and I only got one. I'm not sure exactly what it is because I haven't opened it. It was $9. Um, it's wrapped up very nicely. Helps if I had my reading glasses, but I don't to get this unwrapped. There we go. Okay. They stapled it, which I'd rather you didn't do. So I've got to be careful getting the wrapping off so I don't snag the fabric. There we go. And jab myself. I don't have, know how much is in here. But I got, it was like this, and it was wrapped in plastic and, and stapled. And um, so they look like dishcloths. I love the pattern. Each one's a slightly different color. So one, two, then we have uh, two in that color, two in this color. So that's four. And then, yeah, and then two in this color. So six for $10. And these would make great project bags. These would just make really great project bags. Um, so I'm pretty glad I picked up those. They did have two more of this. Um, old me would have just bought all of them, but I don't really need to do that. And I'm not gonna start making a gigantic bunch of stuff for the Etsy shop um, that then just sits here. But I will probably make some project bags for myself out of these. And then whatever I have left, I probably will list. Um, then I found, oh, this is from the estate sale place. I missed this one, oops. So this is from the estate sale place. I missed this. This was a $8 set, like the, it came just like this. And it looks like it has these two things, which are probably supposed to be some sort of coaster. It says, Mama Cuco. Mama Cuco? Probably butchering that, I'm sorry. And then it has two, 
like placement. They're double-sided fabric. So again, I'm thinking that these would make very great project bags. So I think that's probably what's gonna happen with them. And th this is just really cute. And I might even use this and attach it like to the zipper pull on the project bag, cause that would be cute. Um, so, and there's two pieces. It has two of, one, two of these, one in green, one in pink, and then two of the little coasters. Probably a little pricey, but the fabric was really cute. And then at the back to the red, white, and blue thrift store, I found this, now this print is funny. Um, I'm not sure how big the piece of fabric is. It was $3, I think. Yeah, $3. Um, our old kitchen in our old house <laughs> had this wallpaper. <laughs> uh, very 1990s. <laughs> and it just brought back some nostalgia, so I bought it. It's a Waverly print. It's the Ivy print. <laughs> I don't know how much is here. Let's see, there is a piece missing out of it. But that's a pretty big piece. It probably was originally about a yard and a half, but there's a section missing. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Probably make at least one project bag just because the fabric makes me smile. But um, past that, I have no idea, but yeah. I think it was a pretty successful day. Anyway, I'm gonna get all this into the laundry and uh, sit and have a snack. Work on some socks. I'll be back. It's been an interesting day. So I came home and, hold on. Move my little table. Okay, I came home early to get some chores and things done. Um, I wasn't needed to babysit. Bob stayed to help hammer a few more nails and he was gonna come home and have dinner. I got a text saying they were done hammering nails, but they were making, they were feeding him before he came home. So he's, it's eight o'clock. He's just around the corner right now, which is all well and good. I had some vegetables. I didn't have to make anything for him. I'm fine with that. I got all my chores done. Um, we have a busy week next week between babysitting, Bob's got some doctor appointments and all of that stuff. And I thought tomorrow we were going to be able to catch up on like grocery shopping and stuff because I do need to go grocery shopping, but I just found out we're babysitting again. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I already closed the vlog, but yes, we're in the car. It's 9, 10 at night. We just found out a little while ago we're babysitting tomorrow and we decided to go ahead and get our grocery shopping done today. Uh, it's just going to be easier, I think. Yep, uh, get, her, get her done. Thank goodness, uh, Walmart, uh, Winco, sorry. Walmart? Not Walmart. Winco, our preferred place to get groceries since COVID. Um, police, I don't know what that's about. Anyway, is open 24 hours. Of course, coming this late at night is interesting. And I wouldn't do it by myself. And there's only like one register open. One, yeah, and there's a lot of people there. Most very nice. So I'm interesting, but you know. Anyway, let's go to the vlog closing clip. Yeah, anyway, it's been a fun week. Being Oma is busy business. Uh, anyway, I'm getting my creativity where I can and you know, just rolling with it because nothing's more important than family, right? Creativity is all well and good, but family is more important. So anyway. I hope you guys have had a great week. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want direct contact with me, a uh, private YouTube channel with videos you will never see on here, uh, including a bunch of tutorials and um, a bunch of other stuff, join my Patreon. We have a private, fa uh, private chat and Facebook Messenger and all that stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, that's it for, for now. I will... Uh, see you all next week. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to let Mr. in. I'll see you next week.